Okay, so it's John Marucci. We're coming to you from the Horse Cave KOA, uh, just north of, well, quite a bit north of Mammoth Cave, about 10 miles. So we're in Kentucky. We're doing the one night thing going back up to Michigan after the winter escape. We're in Horse Cave. We've got a difficult setup, so this is a good example of having a setup on a bad situation. So um, we're on a downhill slant and sideways. So we're both downhill and sideways, so we're going to have to put some. Uh, risers under this wheel and we we're planning on wanting not to unhook because we wanted to leave early tomorrow but we're gonna have to leave we're gonna have to actually unhook to get this thing right so a little difficult situation we'll try and tape some of it show you what we're doing but first we're gonna back it up we've got it as far as back it's a small it's a small site we got as far as back we checked it so that the stabilizer deck can still go down and not hit the tie wall so that's our mark I'm gonna back it up and we're gonna put the Risers under the wheel and back it forward and roll it on there. So we'll try and get that going. All right, here we go. Okay, so we backed it up and put it on the risers. You notice it's kind of centered, which is good. Check level again. And much better. Much better in the middle bubble. So it's looking good. We got it right in the middle bubble. We had to put two sets of risers on. That's what you have to do. You always you always level side to side first, then front to back. So that's the first thing you do on any campsite. Now what we're gonna do is chalk it down and then uh, unhook. We're gonna have to unhook unfortunately, even though we wanted to leave early tomorrow. We have to unhook from the tow vehicle and then level it. So chalk first, then level front to back. So here we go. Good to go. Okay, so the next step is we're gonna chalk this, right? Now whenever I whenever I use these Lynx levelers, these risers, there's two directions here, right? There's flat. I usually use it like this if it's on dirt or uh, gravel. But if it's on a riser, I'm gonna flip it upside down and put it in like this, okay? So like this. So I'm just flipping it upside down because the riser is uh is going to take some of the space and then i use i have a rubber mount this the rubber mount is an awesome tool to have uh for rving you need it for various things usually just give it a good tap in now that side isn't as important as this side because we're going downhill right so what we really want to do is make sure this one's in there really good okay and that's pretty good so we got those that, those chalked, I'm going to chalk the other two just now. So we're going to go to the other side now. Okay, so we're going to do this side. This side does not need any risers, right? No Lynx levelers on this side. So I'm going to just chalk them. This time, this is going to be flat. If I have levelers, I do this side. So this is going to be the ground side. Remember, we're going downhill. So the most important chalk is the one on the, the downhill side. So I'm going to, again, I'm going to chalk both sides. I'm going to use that there. Just chalk it. My rubber mouth, a good tap. Okay, so it doesn't come out. Okay, so we got both sides chalked. We got a level side to side. We're good to go. Again, we're gonna have to undo the tow vehicle this time, even though we didn't want to, because we're just doing a one night stay here on the way north. But we're gonna have to undo it because it's so unlevel front to back now, so we're gonna have to adjust it. So that's the next step. Okay, so next step, we just we just leveled it side to side and chalked it really good. Now we're going to undo the tow vehicle. Now this is probably basic for some of you, so no problem. But if you're a newbie, just watch this because this is going to... I'm actually unhooked the Blue Hawk, Blue Ox hitch, which I have, and use the, uh, use the jack to level it out okay, and we're going to take care of that. So there's several steps here we do very carefully. Remember, always chalk it first because once you're undo... Once you're unhook from the tow vehicle it can roll on you make sure you chalk it really solid first and get your level side to side first so okay here we go i'm gonna undo the unplug the electrical cord now my uh husky husky electric hitch here has a nice little place for it so i just put that in there okay the electrical cord i'm gonna take the safety chains out so i take the two safety chains off and also the brake you notice if you come in close here you know you have a brake cable here it's a if it if the for some reason the uh, ball comes off and it starts floating on you, 
this will automatically engage the trailer brake so it doesn't go rolling on you. But you have to undo the pin, take the trailer brake cable out, put the pin back in, okay? All right, so now we have the safety chains off. All I do with the safety chains is just roll them over here and just hang on both sides. So we're gonna just do that, okay? Hang them on both sides. All we have left is to undo the blue ox hitch, okay, and then we've got to put the uh, jack down, get it off the tow vehicle, and then level it out. So the only thing I need is a piece of wood. Okay, you want to carry some sort of piece of lumber with you always to put under your, put under your, uh, your jack. driving position to jack position right down there okay so that I don't have to extend it nearly as far and I'm just gonna lower the jack okay now to get the blue ox hitch off I've got to actually jack it up quite a bit so we're gonna do this you know, this is lifting it up you can hear it taking the pressure off of these bars. These bars are bent to give uh, weight distribution. It's a weight distributing hitch, distribution hitch. And they're getting unbent and taking pressure off them. Then I can loosen them. Okay? You see that? I'm getting up quite a bit. And I can tell right about now it's good. So, blue ox, you get one of these. It's a big wrench. Okay, I'm going to just step over here carefully. And we're going to undo this. Okay? Pull the pin. ready to roll. So we'll just undo this, leave that on the ground, and do the other side. Okay, so both chains are now loose. To get them off, just lay them down. So all I have left here is just this pin. So I'm going to lower it again. see that I always try and do a visual inspection then make sure that's high enough that I can pull the tow vehicle out without pulling it you got to make sure you got clearance there otherwise you can pull the trailer off I don't see anything else connected to the trailer I'm just gonna pull the tow vehicle up a foot or so a couple feet so I have room to work on this and we just got to level it front front to back and the roosters tell me it's time to keep going so <laughs> it's not morning so I'm going to move the trailer, the uh, tow vehicle up, and then we're going to level it front to back, and we should be good to go. Hey, John Marucci back again. So let's walk through the steps. We have a really tough setup. That's what this is all about. We're at Horse Cave KOA in Kentucky going up back to Michigan after our winter escape. This is a tough lot. We're going downhill and to the side. So again, we had to put two sets of Lynx levelers up to, to uh, to level it side to side then we chalked it right then we unhooked everything in the front which we showed you pretty simple but showed you specifically with the, the blue ox hitch and the husky jack now we have to level front and back so this is really bad it's it's pretty much sitting up like this in the uh, the trailer so it's way out of level so we're gonna go, go to the front um, if you want to come in here and look at this you can see that the level is way off uh, if the bubble is way up here on the level so we've got to go way down on the front so we're going to do that up front just walk up front and lower the jack until we get a level so we're just going to lower this thing quite a bit until you can see the front of the trailer is going way down do about that much and go check it again so just going to check the front back level shouldn't need too much okay Really, the bubble didn't move at all. So, this is really way off, so we're gonna have to go down quite a bit more. Hopefully, hopefully we have enough to go. I think we do. We just keep going down. 
So again, really tough setup. You're going to run into these sometimes when you get just a tough, a tough situation where the lot just not level at all. So let's keep going. I'm going to try that now. All right. And by the way, looks are deceiving. You know, you can't just say, "Hey, it looks level to me." You really need to use a level. One inch, I'm gonna run out of space here. <laughs> so I'm gonna just take it down all the way. And that's as far as it'll go, so hopefully that's enough. And looking just perfect. So we kind of lucked out because if it wasn't good then we'd have to actually rehook it up. I'd have to move the stand the jack up and then go back to do it again. So that'd be a real pain. But the bubble. Bubbles looking really good. It's right in the middle again, so tough setup. Took a little extra time, but we got the, the rig where we want. The uh, tow vehicle obviously had to disconnect, but we got it where we wanted, so it's level front, side to side, and front to back now, and we're good to go. Hook up electric, water, and we're set for the evening. All right, John Marucci, thanks for watching the tough setup video. Hey, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Make sure you're subscribed. Thanks again for watching.